Okay, let's talk about the six reasons not to hire a real estate agent. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, uh, Emilio, aren't you a realtor or a real estate agent? Yes, I am both. I am a licensed real estate agent and a member of the National Association of Realtors. And what I'm telling you here is not to not hire a real estate agent. I'm telling you what type of agent not to hire. It is selling season. There's roughly 5,000 agents in Rhode Island. I'm going to give you some, some advice on who to hire. You know, if it's not me, that's okay. I want you to be able to take advice from this show and to really have it serve a good purpose in your life. So keep in mind that 87% of all real estate agents fail. That's horrible, okay? The, the 87%, so, so 13 out of 100 real estate agents actually make it. And then you've got to figure out of the, the 13, you know, uh, the average real estate agent sells only two properties per year. So keep in mind that this advice is going to be, um, you know, you should definitely take it pretty serious. It's important because if you hire the wrong person, you will lose money, okay? You will absolutely lose money. Okay, so number one, the agent speaks of the firm's success. Now, that agent is talking about their brokerage's success, either on a county level or on a state level or on a national level, and they're totally not talking about themselves or their success. Boom, big red flag. No thank you. Let's talk about you, Mr. or Mrs. Agent, and what, what can you ask them? You can just ask them the following questions. How many homes have you sold in the past six months? How many homes have you sold in this town? Now, if that person hasn't sold at least six houses in the past six months, I wouldn't even talk with them. I mean, six houses is still, if you ask me, low, okay? Um, the Despirito team, we, we sold 19 houses last uh, in February, okay? Um, and that's not bragging. That's just saying, like, look, like we're moving volume. There's some other teams in the state that are also moving some, some volume like that, assisting a lot of families. That's experience, okay? Somebody that does one or two houses a year or one a month, that's not a lot of experience. Okay, number two, the part-time agent. Now, what you want to basically do is, 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 is think about this. If you have an agent that has a full-time day job, okay, how are they going to be able to take the leads that are coming in? How are they going to have the energy to call the leads, to cultivate the leads, how are they going to be able to do the 183 steps of the real estate process when selling your home effectively? Never mind showings when you've got out-of-state buyers that want to come in. That's another huge, big red flag, okay? So um, what you want to do is you basically want to ask that agent, do you have any other obligations aside from real estate, okay? Now, it may not even be a second job. They might be a single parent. You know, nothing against single parents, God bless them, you know, but when you're trying to sell real estate, you're a single parent and you're running around doing all of that work. That is another full time job. OK, um, so that's that that can be pretty tough. Uh, and, and I don't know that your house is going to get the, the right attention. Again, that doesn't always mean that, but just dig down deep, find out these answers, find out if they have that other job, find out if real estate is part time to them. Because I know if I was selling a house, if I had my nest egg on the line, I wouldn't give that to somebody that is part time. I don't want part time service. I don't want part time marketing. I want a full time person that is a professional. OK, number three, the agent does not supply you with comps on that listing presentation. They don't even offer you an original marketing plan. Their marketing plan is something templated from their company. OK, that doesn't speak to them. And again, this goes back to number one. It talks about their brokerage's success and not their success. OK, and if they don't have the right comparable homes and if they're not giving you your true market value, guess what? You're either going to lose money because you're going to sell either too low or you're going to sit too high. You're going to net seven to 10 percent less than you would by having your home overpriced and sitting on the market for not, for um, 17 uh, weeks or longer. OK, so number four, reduced commission is offered right off the bat. Now think about this for a second. You have a salesperson in front of you trying to sell you on their services, okay, and why are they are worth it, but right off the bat, they're dropping their commission. Now, I want you to think for a second. If this person was representing me, negotiating my house, one of my biggest assets, do I want this person dropping 
my sales price, this person obviously can't even negotiate their own pay. How are they going to negotiate mine? Done. Gone. Bye. Say bye. You know why? Because that agent that's charging you 6 maybe 7%, I know that might sound like a lot right off the rip, but if that person can back up with data how they are outperforming the market and how they can earn you between you know 1% and, and 7% more than the average agent, guess what? That's between $3,000 and $21,000 more on a, on a $300,000 house. And that, that pays pretty much for their commission, right? So they're, they're paid for. And you're making more money with that agent that's actually, you know, full-time dedicated, that's doing all the right things and has the data, okay? Number five, does this agent have systems, okay? Again, there's 183 steps or so in the selling process. If your agent is alone juggling all those balls without systems, you got to ask yourself, Who's going to, you know, make sure that the paperwork facilitation is done in a timely manner? Who's taking care of all the marketing on the 1,100 plus websites my home is on? Who's doing the social media marketing? Who's doing the video marketing, the professional photos, the magazine, the print marketing? Who's writing blogs about my house? Who, who's on the radio talking about real estate and, and my house and all that stuff, you know? How about lead generation? Who's bringing in the buyers that are going to buy my house? Are you just sitting back? Is that agent just sitting back, putting the home on MLS, waiting for other realtors to jump in? No. Okay? Not good. And number and on that list as well, who is reaching out to the other realtors? Is that agent reaching out to the other realtors and, and not only depending on MLS, but sending those other realtors emails or calling other realtors in the area who have had success, telling them about the house, about open houses? It's important. And it's tough for one agent to be able to do all that. When you have a team of agents, they're able to do all in administrative people. They're able to do all of that. Okay. Next one. And uh, last but not least, lack of reviews online. Okay. Now, if somebody doesn't have reviews online, a couple of things are happening here. It may show that the agent doesn't understand technology. Now, if your agent doesn't understand technology and 93% of the buyers are online shopping, you are dead in the water. You're done, okay? Not good. You want to make sure that your agent can work a computer, can email, understands the technology in and out, and can actually even send you reports that shows you how many hits your house is getting on all of these websites and what to do if you need to tweak marketing to reach a broader spectrum of a, a bigger crowd, okay? And uh, here's another thing, too. It may show that your agent has a lack of sales or experience if people aren't commenting and leaving them reviews, Okay, and then last but not least in this section, maybe the agent is lazy and just doesn't even care. Then you've got to ask yourself, if they're lazy about their own business, how are they going to be when they're handling mine? So it's absolutely vital to get the right professional.